Hey guys, what is up? Caboose is here, and I am here in Isles of Eden, or Islands of Eden, as that sign says. I don't really know what the correct one is, because the place I downloaded it, it said I Isles of Eden, the map says Islands of Eden, and the download link on the official, um, I guess, trailer for this. Um, on Darkness Kirby 2's YouTube channel, it does say Islands of Eden. So I'm gonna go ahead and say both are right. So I'm probably just gonna refer to it as uh, Isles of Eden, just because that's um, I don't know. To me, it sounds kind of better. Um, but basically, what this is, it's kind of like a um, it's kind of like Skyblock in a sense um, that we are technically in a void but as you can tell there's stuff down there um, in case you do die um, also if you do play on this map make sure you get rid of your map don't look at it because if you do end up looking at it there's a chance that you will freeze your xbox um, which sucks a lot uh, so yeah so we're here the rules are no using wool from sheep in the monument if you survive a fall use lava to die properly Dark, er, made by Darkness Kirby 2 and KG the All Star. Uh, extra guidelines are found on the official download video at his channel, which I have pulled up. And the uh, map guidelines are no wool from sheep. That means from kill, die, etc. Get them from monument islands. If for some odd reason you've fallen out of the map and survived, use a love at spawn to die slash respawn. For your first time loading the map, you and your party, if you have one, uh, should fly up to the spawn island using creative mode and then reopen in survival. Uh, that's what I did. Um, also, I can fly, so if I do die and respawn down there, I'll just go ahead and fly up here, save some time. Um, don't play on peaceful. Uh, we are playing on hard because easy's too easy for me because uh, I'm... I'm used to playing on hard anyways, so it's not that big of a deal, um, and I find it more fun to play on hard because it's difficult, you can actually die from starvation, which is why I'm punching these seeds, so when slash if we can find a bucket of water, we should be able to start a farm. Uh, I got 13, um, there's some zombies over there, so I don't know what the monument islands are um, per se. Uh, I do know that there are some brown wool in that tree right there. Now, the only reason I know that is because me and Dylan already played this a little bit, and then I screwed up the audio. I forgot to turn the sound down, um, so Dylan's audio was kind of, <coughs> kind of muffled by the Minecraft sounds. So I'm going to go ahead and record and get to the point that me and Dylan were at which basically means getting over to that brown wool and then over to that water, which is like a survival island thing, because uh, there's beds over there. Uh, other than that, I mean, we went there um, and there, and then there's that island right there that has melons on it, and that's probably where we're going to get our water source. Uh, and then over there is some iron and two potions of healing under there but I'm not really gonna bother with that right away I'm more or less going to go straight for the food because I know that's gonna be important um, so you can play with one to eight players I'm just gonna keep going and uh, keep reading the guidelines as I dig oh yeah voice say pal you don't look so good better build a shelter yeah we're not gonna build a shelter because uh, we don't need no shelter um, monument islands have a theme so you should follow them even though there may be easier ways to do it. Um, I don't know what that means because I know on the um, big tree, it didn't really seem like there was a theme other than that it was a tree. Um, there were a lot of mobs inside and we basically just went down and I ended up accidentally blowing up a creeper because Dylan knocked me off the vine. Um, so yeah, and then Dylan reaped all the rewards, which was brown wool. Um, I do know that the quote-unquote monument island, the place where you store all the things, I'm pretty sure is that one. Um, I'm not 100% sure only because 
we haven't been there yet so I honestly have no idea what it looks like but it looks like there's glass it's all lit up it's got bedrock so I'm thinking that's probably the monument island where you um, put the wool after you get it so yeah so I'm just gonna go ahead and dig under the tree because there's iron here and coal so we can make some torches to light up this iron or light up this iron light up this island what the heck okay so there's a stone which means the iron should be there no it's probably under the stone yeah there it is all right so take it out a little bit more so I can get more stone There's one, two, three. So I do have to be careful because there is a void, like I said. Um, so I don't want to dig too deep without standing on the block. Um, it's always a good idea never to dig straight down, uh, obviously. But especially in this because there's you know a void. So if we die, we can't go pick up our stuff and then fly up. I'm going to just play it as we died. GG. You, you, you lost pretty much. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and make a chest and store some of the stuff that we may need in the future, such as wheat and dirt for now. Uh, I don't think we're going to need the signs, but I'll keep it up there. And then this way, if I do end up falling, um, I believe the next one should be... No? Okay. Yeah, okay. So yeah, as you can tell, there's a huge void, um, which we would have just fallen into if I... Oh, sweet maple. Uh, if I wasn't paying attention. Um, so, yeah. Never dig straight down, especially in this map. So, uh, download link for this map, if you do want to play it yourself, will be in the description um, down below. So, feel free to check it out. Um, also, the creator's channel will be in the description. Uh, I'll be honest, I haven't really seen any of his videos. But, I do plan on checking them out because... Um, I checked out his channel a little bit, it looked like he had some adventure maps, so I might take a look at those, and if they're any good, I'll probably end up playing them, um, cause, you know, I love adventure maps, so, yeah. Uh, also, I'm gonna go ahead and get me some torches, which means I gotta dig up, again, make me a little staircase, I guess, there we go, alright, so yeah pretty dark my game is on 75 just because it's what I usually play on and uh, also the sword of Alzcar which was a fantastic map as well which I just finished up um, last episode I believe went out yesterday yeah yesterday um, so yeah that was that was a bunch of fun uh, to play unfortunately it was cut short because there's two parts to it so yeah and as of right now there's no news on part two of the Sword of Alzcar I did talk to um, the creator OX Killer OX and he doesn't have any news on it I don't know if he's started working on it already or if he's just um, planning or what he's doing really um, so yeah so what I'm doing now is I'm more or less just digging, um, obviously, but I believe there's more coal um, under here. I haven't really dug it out much when we were playing, um, but I want to make sure this is lit up. And then when we get more coal, we can go over there to that island and then start making our way over to the food. Um, there's some fish and whatnot in there and also some hoes, but... I think it's like a wooden hoe, so it's not really that good. Um, I usually just make a stone hoe or an iron hoe in survival uh, when I play, just because an iron hoe will last me for whatever I need. I usually just have a small farm, because after a while you have excess wheat, so you don't really need a big farm. I just usually go with like the max size farm, which is a 9x9, nine nine, and then... Uh, water in the center. Oh, sweet. There's some more coal. So we'll make some more torches, smelt up this iron, make a iron pick maybe. 
An iron sword. Oh. Gotta be careful with that void. And then we'll also be able to um, make more torches. And then when it's daytime, um, we will go ahead and start making our way to other islands. Uh, I don't want to do it at night just because of mobs. I don't want to get like shot off by a skeleton and then, you know, fall and die and lose all of our stuff and progress. So that wouldn't be a good thing. Um, is there any more coal? Oh, yes, there is. Sweet. Now, it is a little bit risky because obviously we are over the void now. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and patch it up so we won't be able to fall into the void. Unless we're, you know, incredibly, incredibly stupid. But I will stay crouched just to be on the safe side. I think that, no, that's cobble on the ground over there. Never mind. Alright, so let's go ahead and back up to the surface we will go ahead and craft ourselves a furnace place it right there I guess place the iron uh, coal tree still hasn't grown put more light around it maybe that will help uh, so yeah we got 46 dirt or 50 dirt actually uh, I'm going to go ahead and make a Okay, we do have more wood. A stone shovel. And then a stone pick. Uh, the reason I'm going to make a stone shovel is just because I plan on um, hollowing out the island and then like leaving one layer on top. Um, and then probably using the dirt to um, go in between the islands. Um, just because dirt's easy to come by and all that. Um, and then when we run out, we'll be able to switch to cobblestone. So, that will be our second resource, I guess. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cobble that. Like so. I'm just going to go ahead and leave that dirt. Uh, just because we'll have enough. We already have a stack on us. A stack and a half on us, I should say. So we'll go ahead and continue just hollowing it out. Staying crouched so we don't fall off. And then as soon as day hits, we'll start going over to other islands. And hopefully start getting over towards that food. So we can... Oh we can actually not starve to death because as I said it is on hard so there is a definite possibility of starvation okay so I'm assuming that bedrock is right where um, like the spawn center is um, just because that's what it was on skyblock like they had um, A bedrock block in the center. Uh, sorry if you can hear the noise going on behind me. Apparently they decided to fill the oil tank today. Because uh, we we ran out the other day. Um, so I guess they're coming back to fill it all the way up. So they had to come back. It's an emergency to fill. So uh, shout out to the oil guy. If you guys can even hear him. He's just filling up the oil drum. Alright, so we broke through our pick. Uh, is it starting to become morning ish? Um, so I'm going to go ahead and eat this apple. And then go ahead and dig out most of this dirt. Um, Alright, I think that should be good for now. Uh, we will need another staircase up because I guess I destroyed it. There we go. So I'm only going to have like a stack of dirt at a time and nothing else. And then I'll run back um, when I finish in order to um, grab torches and all of that. So I'm going to go ahead and make a bucket for when we get over to the water. And now we're left with 
three iron, so I'm going to go ahead and make a sword. Um, just for mobs and stuff. Because there's a lot of mobs up there. There's probably going to be some mobs over there. But, seeing how it's still dark, but by the time I get over there, it will be morning. So, mobs will start to burn and all that. So, I'll just go ahead and make a bridge over now. Um, I do have one iron bar on me and the last of our sticks, but there is the island that we are heading towards that we can always cut down more trees. Um, okay, I do see a skeleton, so I'm going to turn back now while I still have the chance and drop off some of this stuff. And then take over a little bit of dirt. Uh, actually, I'm going to go ahead and grab the torches that I already have because there's only four. And uh, torch it up as I go across. This way no mobs will spawn on here um, at night. So you can see the skeletons are starting to burn. Which is good. Because then we'll be able to get bones. So when we do get the farm up and running... Um, we'll be able to bone meal it. Also, we'll be able to bone meal trees as well. Okay, so the skeletons are coming closer, so I'm going to go ahead and back off now. Uh, and sit, like, back here until they completely burn. Okay, I think, I think they're all dead. So, hopefully we won't get knocked off. I'm not playing this as a hardcore like I did with, uh, Skyblock. Um, just because there's a lot more of a risk of falling off than there was on Skyblock per se, because there's different islands and all that. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get that. Alright, so we got three bones, which is pretty good. Uh, I'm going to head back. There's an Enderman. We're not even going to bother with him. Um, just because he will wreck our shit pretty quickly. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and drop this stuff off, um, grab more, um, also going to go ahead and make a stone axe, so when I get over there, also going to go ahead and grab the pick, because there is a cave over there, um, so we'll be able to explore the cave a little bit. Um, actually, it is going to be safe over there, um, so I'm going to go ahead and grab the torches and our sword. Uh, we don't have any more torches, so I'll just go ahead and grab all of our coal, all of our dirt, and our bucket, and one plank, because why not? Um, and then we'll leave everything else behind. I'll go ahead and cut some trees down over here. This way I'll be able to make more torches. Now these trees aren't going to drop apples, so we still have the food issue uh, until we can make it over there. Actually, there is a freaking cow here that we can just kill. And two steak, not bad. Um, so yeah, we'll be able to have some steak, I guess, for lunch or dinner will be good and of course it's just high enough to the point where I can't reach the top block all right so now we should have some more wood I'm gonna go ahead and turn it all into planks make some more torches so I can torch this island up and make it completely safe this way when night hits again it should be all free from mobs. Go ahead and put another torch about here on the bridge. Torch up there, over here. So yeah, my main objective for this episode is to make it to that food island um, just so we can start up a farm. And then next episode we will hit the pumpkin island and then the broken down house island and then the area with the 
two beds. I'll bring both of them back just so when Dylan joins us for in a few episodes, probably probably three episodes from now, uh, Dylan will join us. Um, so basically what's going to happen, I haven't explained it um, yet, but what's going to happen is um, I'm going to record some of this on my own, um, some of this with other people. Um, for instance, like I said, Dylan will be here in a few episodes. Um, I'm more or less, because me and Dylan already recorded some of this, I'm more or less going to explore the islands that we already visited uh, when we were recording previously. Um, and then uh, I'm going to go ahead and just save an exit at that point. Um, and then Dylan will join us later. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say later today because we're going to record some more face beta. Um, and then, or probably Isles of Eden, and then some more face beta, and then maybe some more Isles of Eden, uh, depending on time. Um, so it should be good. I hope you guys are enjoying the first episode of the Warface beta. Um, the second episode should be out tomorrow, um, because this should be going out today as of recording. Oh my, there's Lupus Lapis. We gotta get that. Alright, but first, we gotta break this melon. Or these melons, I should say. And then run back and plant them. Uh, also, we will need a bucket. Don't want to fall off now because this is going to be mainly our only food source for now. Um, Alright, so let's grab the bucket and put the melon back. And we should probably grab the stone pick so we can get that lupus. And probably grab some torches. Go ahead and grab all of them, I guess. Get out of my way, sheep. I'm on a mission. So let's light this up. So no mobs. And then, before we get the water, let's go ahead and actually block it off if we can. Oh, gosh. That was definitely not what I wanted to do. Okay, so now let's climb. Now we'll block off the water and sit here. All right, now we gotta get this lupus. Are there any others? There might be others. Oh, okay. There's some coal, so we'll take that. Oh, and some iron, but I think that's the bottom layer. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and dig this. Oh, nope, so there is one below it. I'm gonna crouch. All right, so we got one more iron. I'll go ahead and put a torch down there. All right, so let's go ahead and create the waterfall again, and then come up. All right, so now we'll block it off and jump down. And oh, okay, so we missed the water. That's fine. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and create a staircase. So we will be able to get back up there. Like so. And then I can, eh, I'll just leave that so we can also hollow out that as well. All right, so. What do we want to drop off? Um, probably the iron. Actually, no. Let's run back with everything. Uh, I will be right back. All right, and sorry about that. The oil guy dropped off the bill and wanted to make sure our heat was back on. All right, so. 
Yeah, let's run back so we can start up a melon farm and a wheat farm now that we got a bucket. I'll go ahead and eat a little bit. And we'll be able to run back. All right, so let's go ahead and put the steak in here and cook that up while we start on the farm, which needs a stone hoe. Uh, so we will want to go over to that island. Um, one, oh, duh. Uh, actually, let's come over here with it. And then move this torch. So I think we're done hollowing out the underside or the underbelly of this just because there will be more resources in other little um, islands. So we shouldn't have to really worry. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and right here put the water. Um, And then I will be able to do that and actually need to make some melon seeds. Let's go ahead and make five melon seeds and we'll be able to have five to eat. Uh, actually that's a bad placement and we didn't get back. Okay. So this one will grow here or here. So we want to have another melon stalk here and another melon stalk here. This way, if this one happens to grow here, it won't connect to that one, um, which is good because we don't want it to connect to each other. Uh, so I can also plant one there. Yeah. So that's, that's a pretty good setup for now. Anyways, um, I'll go ahead and place... Apparently, I don't have another piece of dirt. I think it's because I left it on that island. Um, I'll go ahead and do this. Just cover up the water and then do that. There we go. And I'll come back later and make like a barrier around it just so we can walk around the farm a little bit more. Uh, we do also have seeds, but I'm not going to worry about it for right now. Right now, what I want to do is... Go back, grab another bucket of water, unless there's a lot of mobs. Um, actually, we can bone meal the watermelons as well, now that I think about it. So let's go ahead and do that. Boop. 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 There we go. And boop. And then we will go ahead and make more bone meal. And boop that one as well. So there we go, our melon farm is up and running now. Uh, we'll go ahead and keep those and grab the steak as well. I'll munch on that. Um, nom 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 nom. Alright, so let's go ahead and did I leave the sword on the other island? Yes, yes I did. Not a big deal. We should be able to head over with no mobs except for there is a zombie for some reason. Oh, okay, so that area is just a slight bit too dark. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, all right, let's kite him over here. And then I'm going to jump up and over him and grab our sword. Just like that. And now we'll be able to take him out pretty easily instead of punching him like I think it's 20 times. Which would just be ridiculous. So now, now that's night. Um, I don't think I put torch. Yeah, I didn't put torches up there. So you can see there's already mobs. So I will wait on getting more water. And instead, we will come down into this mine and see what's down here. Yeah, I don't know what's down here. Dylan was the one. Looks like there's some iron. Dylan came down here. Um, when we were recording, there's some gold as well, um, and mined while, okay, so the void's already open, so we'll go ahead and 
block that. Let's go ahead and dig our way over to this iron. Alright. We'll just dig around, I guess. Um, we may want to go up so we can get this gold. Uh, so I'll go ahead and go up. There we go. Then go ahead and make a furnace over on this island as well. So just so we don't have to keep running back and forth in between each island. It will be a little bit of a waste of resources, but I think in the long run, uh, it will save on food and all that. Um, so, in my opinion, it's better than going back and forth in between. So, I'm going to go ahead and drop some stuff off. This way, we just have our iron sword, our stone pick, and our 23 torches. This way, if we do fall, uh, we'll lose some cobble, obviously. Um, and we'll lose all this stuff that we have in our inventory. Um, but we won't lose everything. So, yeah. Alright, so let's go ahead and dig this up a little bit just so we can get up here easier. And actually, just looked at the time that I've been recording, and even with the slight um, leave that I had, I'll go ahead and cut down this tree, and then I'll end the episode. So again, download link will be in the description below. Um, this has been Isles of Eden, a adventure map, or not really an adventure map, it's kind of like a, um, I think he called it a CTM, which I believe uh, stands for Capture the Monument, because he's referring to the wool as monuments. Um, so it's kind of like a Capture the Wool, kind of like a Skyblock um, kind of thing. So it's a pretty cool um, map all in all um, and as I said Dylan will be joining us in probably episode 3 or 4 uh, depending on how long it takes me uh, me and Dylan managed to get to that island and all the other islands in two episodes but then again that was with two people and he went that way while I more or less went that way um, so it will probably take me three or four episodes to get back to the tree to get the brown wool uh, and then Dylan will join us and we'll explore some more. Um, and that'll be that. So I've been Caboose's here. And uh, this has been Isles of Eden made by Darkness Kirby 2. Yeah, Darkness Kirby 2. Uh, download link in the description below if you want to check it out. Um, but I'll see you in the next video. Bye.